Welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am the psychic, the medium, the channel Tony Green. <laughs> okay, today is going to be a different type of show because um, once again, my call log uh, system that I use is down and that's okay because we have plenty of people on YouTube that are asking questions, wanting clearings, and I have some announcements, and um, there's just a lot going on. I will be here next Monday as of right now. Um, if the phone lines are down, I don't, I might have to, if the call log center is down again, that's not under my control. It's a system that I use, and um, there's not, there's just not a lot I can I can do with that. Um, so can somebody please tell me how does the audio sound to everybody? Can everybody hear me okay? Um, because usually I'm using the phone system. Okay, here we go. First and foremost, don't get scammed. Um, no, I I don't tell ever tell people uh, to reach out to me or that they need a reading or anything like that. Unless, you know, I'm talking, I don't reach out on any comments and say, you need a reading, da, da, da. I don't do that. So please don't get scammed. Um, if, you, if you do want a reading or a session with me, you go to my website and then we schedule from there. Okay, that's out of the way. Now, today, because there are no callers, which is okay, because I have plenty of peeps on YouTube. Oh, wait. Okay, this part. <laughs> if you, uh, I go live every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. So if you would like to be part of the show, you can join us live on YouTube or you can call in, not, not today, but in the future maybe, um, and be part of the show. Uh, I air live on WSCS and all of their streaming channels and radio stations. And I air live with Rude Rangers TV and all of their streaming channels and their radio stations and plus the streaming stations that I put it out on. So all of that. And I have some very exciting news on February 2nd. 2024. So I love, I love, there's so much I love about this date and I'm, I'm going to tell you. So next year is an eight year, um, 20248. And, um, <laughs> and eight is a year of power creation, financial abundance. So you guys get in place for next year because it's an eight year and it's, it's going to be amazing. So 2-2 two, two of 2024, I'm going to be in Daytona, Florida, doing a show, um, a live show at the Cinematique. So you guys, yes, I'm very excited and extremely honored um, to be able to do a show there. It's going to be... Uh, it's it's just going to be it's going to be amazing. I'm trying to figure out if I should live stream that show. So while I'm doing the show and answering audience questions, connecting them with loved ones, should I have a live stream going? Will you guys listen? Will you watch? Um yeah, that's the those yeah, that's 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 what I'm I'm thinking right now. Okay, um Next, uh, next on the list, we are going to do some uh, 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 names, songs, songs from above. Okay, so you guys, these songs, if, if you know this song, if they knew this song, this song may be answering a question for you. Um, or, or, and, or, it may be something you listen to with someone, the song, if it has meaning, or it was somebody that you, you know, you guys know, I, the words are gone right now. Okay, here we go. Um, 
So the first song, I've been hearing this all morning. It's that song, Rosanna. Take me all the way, Rosanna. Oh, yeah. Okay, because I can't sing. I try to make them funny. But if you know that song, you know. So if anybody in the chat, know, if that song means something to them, go ahead and put it in there. Now, one song can mean something to a hundred different people. Just because somebody claims a song first, it doesn't mean it's not also meant for you. The next song that I'm hearing is a Itsy Bitsy Spider. Itsy Bitsy Spider. I know technically, is it a song? Is it a nursery rhyme? Really doesn't matter. Itsy Bitsy Spider. Itsy Bitsy Spider. The next song that I'm hearing is um, Fly Like an Eagle. And then the next song that I'm hearing is... <laughs> no. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm going to need some whiskey glasses to get me through. I think there's a verse in there that says she's probably making out on the couch right now with someone new. <laughs> okay. Okay. Somebody out there might need some whiskey glasses. Oh my gosh, that might be me. I don't know. <laughs> I love that song too. I do. I love that song. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, and I'm hearing Travis Tritt. Travis Tritt. And then I'm hearing for, for music. We're staying on music for a minute today. Um, um You guys, oh my gosh, they are bringing it today. Um, at first I was afraid, I was petrified. Everybody can sing the song except for me. <laughs> Thinking I could never live without you by my side. <laughs> and I spent so many nights. I was mad. <laughs> okay, that's the next song. I literally have tears coming out of my eyes, probably because I can hear my own singing, but yet I continue. <laughs> <laughs> these songs are are really getting me today because they're like not they're just yeah okay <laughs> here we go and I haven't done songs the past two shows I think I haven't done songs so I'm loving the whole song thing um the next song is live and let die and do you know what <laughs> And of course, the air guitar comes out on that. Never, ever have I played air guitar. Leave in lit. I need callers to save y'all from this. I need callers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And then the next song is um somebody is saying a gospel song. It's gospel, but they're not giving me the words, but you'll just know because they loved their gospel music. They would oh, and they're playing with my head right here. Like I feel like they're lifting up my hair. Um they would listen to gospel music in the house. Oh gosh, that goes my all day, every day. Okay, so just so you know that, they would listen to gospel music, whomever that is for. Um, and then the next song is, um, I'm only going to do a couple more songs because, well, yes, we need to, we need to uh, do this. Somebody is real. Oh, did you see the flash? Somebody is really playing with my hair. Hi. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, the next song is um, I'm just going to say this. It's a Spanish song and I can't sing it. Well, in all fairness, I can't sing any of them, but really can't sing the Spanish one. Okay, uh, the next song is um, they're singing Take Me All Away by Rosanna again. The next song is 
somebody really wants to get that song out there for you. They do. Okay, the next song is, um, I can hear the first word. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this song. This isn't the first song that I was hearing. I can feel it coming in the night. Oh yeah, um, Phil Collins, um, In the Air Tonight. I love that song. So that one, that one's coming through. Um, that's the song, thank you. Mysterious Way. She Moves in Mysterious Ways by YouTube. Okay, those are the songs today, folks. We're gonna end it on that. We're gonna go to names now. Um, this may be your name, this may be their name, and I do, let's um, be respectful of everybody. If I say the name Brian, which is coming through, which comes through on so many shows, yes, it is a common name, but it could be bright. There could be like 10 Brian's here for, you know, 10 different people that listen in on the show. So let's, let's go. So let's go. Just let's go there. That's what they said to me. Let's go. Uh, Brian, Millie, Mildred, Car Carmela, Car Car Carmela. Uh, it's a name that starts like Mysteria Mysteria or something like that. That keeps coming through. The next name I'm getting is... <laughs> I'm not saying that. They said, just say it. Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> I don't think Billy Bob Thornton's coming through, but somebody out there, this person or you watched, listened, something, a connection with Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> the next name, my nose is a little runny. I want to apologize for that. And I do have tissue close enough so I can. <clears throat> um, the next name is... Um, Jerome. Somebody's Aunt Betty is here, but a uh, Betty, but it's somebody's aunt. And then there's um again Mildred and then um Carl. Who else wants to step up and say hi? Bonnie and Don 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 Michaela. Michaela? It's four. It's either a, a Michaela or four. Somebody named Michaela. And then I hear the song, Let's Go All the Way. Stop that now. You just stop that now. Okay. Typically at this point in the show, I would start taking callers, answering questions from online. Uh, I need to let you guys know, I did some announcements, uh, some clearings on TikTok this morning. I think one was for stress, one was for happiness. And then I did announcement for the Daytona um, event. And it was... Uh, there were all these rays coming down in my house through the like ceiling. I showed it on the TikTok. So if you want to go see that, go see it. Um, other than that, I'm going to grab a tissue. Just hold there. Okay. We have that out of the way. Hopefully you, you did not see that. Wait, do you see that? I think you did not. <laughs> You're not such a dork. Okay, I'm going to go to the top. <laughs> I'm going to go to the top of the list. I'm such a dork. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to go to the top of the list. I'm going to say hi to everybody and take everybody as they came through, answer questions, do clearings, and we're going to do it all with the YouTube chat. Okay, so the first person is... Uh, Vaughn, hey Vaughn, how are you? Then Terry comes in and says, can I get a clearing for confidence? Everybody needs a confidence for a clearing for confidence. And I'm going to add self-worth. She says, um, self-doubt and optimism. Okay, 
We are confident and optimistic. I get a no. We have self-doubt. I get a yes. Let's heal, clear, release that. It, Ghost kept it. We're going to take all of that. We're going to take it out. And um, Terry, I'm going to say this goes back to when you were probably about four years old. So we're going to take everything that, and I feel like this isn't something that even happened to you. I feel like this is something, because what I'm seeing is you are looking, you're, you're seeing something, something that happened maybe to somebody else. You are watching something unfold and this is where it comes from. So that's for you, Terry. But with this, whew, we know our worth. I get a no. Let's clear that. Okay. Whew. Michelle Lee, happy Monday. Hey, Heather. Um, I had a great weekend. I hope everybody had an amazing weekend. Um, happy Christmas, Sal. Happy Christmas. Uh, you guys, let's talk a little bit about, I want to, you know, while we're here on with, without being able to take callers, and I will get to questions, I want to talk a little bit about why we're here <clears throat> on this plane, why we came to this plane. It's just it. Apparently, this is what we're doing today. Maybe this is why my call log is not working today, so we can talk about this. So why we are here on this plane, because there are many planes OK, and I'm going to try to be very careful of the way I word things so I don't get flagged and have this taken down because I feel like whatever they're about to channel and what's about to come through is channeling, meaning <clears throat> straight from above and you can hear it getting ready. Um, there are many planes in this system. And each plane represents a different level of existence. And you chose to be on this plane, to be in and on this plane at this time. And this was no accident. This was no accident at all. Each and every person that is here came in with a purpose, on purpose, for a purpose. <clears throat> there is no, oh, the ringing in my ear just went to such a sharp tone, you guys. It almost is crazy. There is no mistake in where you are or why you are there. So many do not realize or accept that their existence here is with purpose, which is what causes the discourse. It is okay to seek external validation. The purpose of you being on this plane, and this is the plane where you come to create whatever it is you want or deem necessary. In this creation process, you can create in this direction to the left or in this direction to the right or straightforward trajectory, trajectory or reverse. None of it is wrong. The only place anything is ever wrong is in your mind. You make a judgment as to whether what you're doing is right or wrong. Now, other people may say, don't do that. That's not right. But it's not their judgment that hinders you. It is your own, your own shame and or judgment that will slow your forward movement and stop or block you from taking your next steps. And 
judgment leads to fear because once we judge ourselves, we're afraid we're going to make another mistake. And in making that mistake, we will uh, put have more judgment upon us, whether it be from others or ourselves. Let's clear all judgment. Let's clear all shame. <clears throat> As you move forward and you can let go of everything from behind you, you have the ability to create exactly what you came here for. Now, for some of you, you may have incarnated at this time to create family, to create friends, to create career, to create businesses, whatever you came in to create, it's okay. And you can change it at any time. The goal is to stay in light and on purpose. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it purposefully. You're doing it with the intention that this is what you want to do and this is how you want to do it. And in light means you're not letting your heavy thoughts or dark thoughts get in the way of this. As you move forward with this understanding and this knowing, your creation will take on a life of its own. Again, whether it's family, whether it's business, whether it's career, whether it's money, none of these things are bad or wrong. We hear people talking about greedy people, people who have too much. That is their personal perspective. That is their personal insecurities. That is their personal judgment about themselves that they are putting upon other people. Never let Outside words affect your inner mind. If there is something you want, you do not have to justify it. That want is there because it's part of your path, part of your direction, part of your goals for this incarnation. So for example, if somebody wants to win the lottery, Maybe your goal is not to win the lottery, but to be a multimillionaire. And in being a multimillionaire, there are many different ways to accomplish that. The lottery is, is one of them. But maybe there is something inside of you, whether it be a business idea or something else that will create that not only for you, but also for others. Everything that we do in this world is to create for us and for others. When we watch things, whether it be a movie, a TV, or listen to things, they have, if we are watching and listening to certain things, it can change your perspective on what is possible. So your perspective on what is possible when you're born is anything, everything. Your goal is to keep that perspective strong, no matter what anyone says or does. And some people say that self-love, self-confidence, self-worth, it is self knowing, let's clear ourselves. knowing to be the strongest and most positive that it can be. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. And in that self-knowing, if you can kind of put up guards on your ear that you might hear what other people say, but you don't accept it as your truth, even in movies, even in uh, TV, even on um, 
let's just say, other podcasts. You can hear it, but you don't have to accept it as your reality because your personal goals and realities, your knowing should be only what you are trying to create and everything else should get out of the way. Everything else should be cleared away because this is the purpose. This is the reason that you came into this particular plane. Now, there are higher planes that exist and lower planes that exist. The lower planes are a more difficult, challenging plane to exist upon. The energy is heavier. The higher planes are I don't want to say easier, but easier. The energy is so much lighter. It's, it's, it's faster. And this particular plane is almost a middle plane. It's almost a middle plane. And we are at a time on this plane where the thought patterns are becoming so distinct and different, divided. You are either thinking from faith or you are thinking from fear. Now, when we say faith, we don't mean dogma or religion. We mean knowing, a knowing of where you're going, what you're doing, and that you are okay. You, you're protected. You've always been protected. You will always be protected. There is nothing that could ever harm you. You have always been taken care of. You will always be taken care of. There is nothing that will ever get in the way of that, of you being taken care of, except your own thoughts, because your thoughts determine where you go. So if you can get control over your thoughts and you can let go of the fear with thoughts, and let's clear that now, all of our thoughts, programs, beliefs are healthy. Let's clear that. All fearful, all fearful programs and thoughts have been healed, cleared, and released. Let's clear that. Now, as you move forward, if you can, every time you have a thought that is not in alignment with where you're going, what you want, what you're saying, what you're doing, your vision for your future, if you can just push that aside, just push it aside and stay on track. Bring in a new thought, a different thought, a different way of being. In no time, you will feel it take on and take over this knowing, this understanding, this being who you were meant to be powerful and not in the way that they say, oh, this person wants power over people. Not in that way. Power over yourself. Empowered thoughts. Empowered being. Oh, knowing. A very knowing individual. knowing exactly what you want, where you're going. You might not know how you're going to get there, but you will. And in that knowing, you hold your power and your space to move in that direction. As you do this, you will find yourself having new ideas, new inventions, new creations, <clears throat> new connections. And in that, the shift will come. Because the stronger you make your energy, the stronger your knowing is. And let's just call it that. Forget all the different things that airy-fairy, woo-woo, things people want to call it, because what it really is, is your own divine spirit that has always been with you, will always be with you, coming alive within you. 
And as it does, and it expands, everyone it touches will get a glimpse, a feeling of it. And in that, they can make the choice to take on faith or stay in fear, but that is their choice. And everybody comes to this on their own. So it is your job to take care of you and you alone. Now, some may say, but I have children. Yes, your job is to help them grow, to be responsible, independent adults. In order to do that, you must exhibit that. You must exhibit that. You must. And the more strong, independent, and knowing you are, the more your children's spirit will wake up. And they will follow their course also without needing a lot of direction. Their knowing will ignite. Once one person in the home has their knowing fully ignited, the knowing of others will wake up. Because it is inside of each of us. It's not something outside of us that we must seek. We must go get this. It's not something we go to the store and buy or we pay homage for. It's in us. It's the... It's something you are born with. It is the greatest gift of all. It's the one that eludes most people because they believe they've been taught it's here, it's there, it's behind you. It's, it's you have to pay or you have to say or you have to do. No, 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 no. You have to sit and say, I know you're there, let's go. Let's go. And in that, in that moment, you will feel something and do not go to fear. Go to faith. And allow that light to expand. That, that spirit is light. That's why they say, look for the light, the light at the end of the tunnel. You are the tunnel, the light is inside. You are the way the light is in here. The light that shows you, that leads you is the light in here. And as you allow that to come, and I'm going to tell you a little bitty secret. People, many people, as soon as this start to happen, they shut it down because they feel this love, this unconditional love, this beautiful feeling, this... And they're afraid of that feeling. They're afraid to feel it. They're afraid it will go. And it will be stronger at some times and not as strong at other times. But when you sit with yourself or with others with the intention of not connecting any place other than within yourself, because it all begins and it all for you, for you personally, it all begins and it all ends with you, with this, with, with what is in you, not what is outside of you. Everything, the whole universe is inside of you. And we ask you to just allow it to open, allow it to shine, allow your spirit to take the wheel and to drive you forward into the creation and creator that you came here to be. Don't allow other scenes and movies and talking dot, 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 to change you. As a matter of fact, turn it all off and listen within. And we love you.
and we do. Okay, guys. I'm back. I am going to try to hold it together because that was, um, yeah. Thank you for being here and listening to that. If you have any questions about it, I'm going to go back to questions now. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. I'm going to go back to questions. Um, thank you for the hearts. Thank you so much for the hearts. Uh, I'm looking for questions. Okay, Lolly, I'm here. I can't call in anymore because um, I'm in Cape Town. Congratulations. How beautiful for you. And it would cost a fortune. I think, Lolly, you asked a question further down. You did. I met a friend on the expat uh, FB group, and uh, we met for lunch. She seems a little off. Should I be aware of anything? Yes, you should. I don't want to get tied down with anyone who is going to drag me down. That's that's the perfect way of saying it, Lolly. Here's what I'm going to tell you, Lolly. Um, and for anybody listening, we have our steady, this is where we are, this is who we are, maybe on a daily, maybe on a weekly, this is our energy or our mood, where we exist. And mood can also be called our energetic level. And sometimes we meet somebody and they're so out of out of alignment with our energetic level and whether that's because we're just in a place of knowing and where we are and what we have going on and maybe they're a little chaotic or a little sad or whatever it is um we can let that go and move on because you will meet people who are in alignment with where you are and what you have going on um Drama doesn't have to be a part of our everyday living and neither does chaos. And some of those things that I'm saying right now, like drama and chaos, those might be things that perhaps you did not see right away, but you might see as time goes on. So that is what I'll say for you, Lolly. I hope that helps you. Um, so, yes. That is what I'm going to say for you. Okay. Michelle Lee wants to know if Casey has a holiday message for me. Okay, Michelle, the first thing that Casey wants to say, it's that, uh, that song. Tell her I love her. Tell her I need my baby. Oh, won't you tell her? <laughs> so that's the first thing that comes through. The next thing that comes through is uh, the I, um, I use it. Can, can we do a different song? Um, nope. Caddyshack. I'm all right. Um, don't nobody worry about me. The next song is, um, or not the next song, but the next message, uh, red birds, whether they be like the, the, any bird with red, any place on it is a sign or a symbol that Casey is with you and spending time with you. Um, okay, on, on Christmas morning, as you slowly as you're lying in bed and waking up, if you don't get woken up abruptly, allow yourself to hear the sounds around the smells and um, to get a feeling or a message. Oh, I have the gooseies on my leg. A, a message from him and it will be a very 
telling for you. Okay, Michelle Lee, I hope that was helpful. Nancy wants to know, oh, I just, I just lost my place. Nancy, um, hi, do you see me meeting a male companion? Love interest in the future. Nancy, the first thing I hear is you need to let go of the past. Don't we all? Yeah. Um, and the past needs to let go of you, Nancy. Is there an ex? An ex? Uh, why did they call it ext? Ext. <laughs> is there someone in your past that is holding on tightly to you, or just thinks about you quite a bit? Okay, let's uh, let go of the past, everybody. Um, we're going to let that go now. We're going to clear, heal, release that. And, you know, for me, <clears throat> it took me quite a few times to completely let go of the past. So you might want to come back and listen to this again just to um, make sure if it doesn't all go the first time because we have layers of things. Okay, I will. Thank you. Um, that that happened. So um, know that that if you you have um, if you if it doesn't all go in one, it will. So as soon as this is done, as soon as the past is let go of, somebody new is going to come in, and I'm seeing I'm going to ask that all past connections immediately be disconnected, and you might see this. I see this in three spots on the back of you. Nancy, that they're disassembling, unassembling, whatever they're doing with it, and they're they're uh, heal that, and then they're going to take it. Don't think about the past, people. Just move on. Um, one of the things I say to people all the time when they have let go of the past, even if you haven't been with this person in six months, a year, whatever it is, is. Um, don't look back at it, number one. And number two, remind yourself, that's no longer my reality. Listen, when we go through something, whether it's as a child or an adult, that's a reality. And, and reality is, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. Reality can change from second to second, what you believe a reality is, what you believe is real, can change from second to second, from minute to minute. So for example, when you used to believe in something on Christmas, and then all of a sudden, in a second, you found out that was no longer the truth. And I don't want to say it in case there are young uns listening. Your reality changed in a second with a new belief system. So when we go through something, we, we take that on as a reality, but it's a reality that already happened in our past. It's not the reality that we have to keep let happening. So as we move forward, ch -ch 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 chugging forward, we want to say that's no longer my reality and like see it dissolving like just take five seconds everybody with me right now think of something that happened that you know whatever in the past close your eyes visualize it and say that's no longer my reality and watch them just take it away from you watch that it just dissolves the whole image you st it's like it's moving away from you you don't even have to move away from it because it is moving away from you. So let's say something financial happened and we end up in this space where we're always afraid that that's going to happen. It was a lesson. It was like kindergarten when we learned to tie our shoes. We had to go through that lesson of tying our shoes. Now they have slip-on shoes. I mean... <laughs> Really, all the things we learned in school are really irrelevant now. <laughs> okay, so let's just say something financial happened. I'm so sorry. And then, so now we just visualize that and we say, that's no longer my reality and we let it go. And then see, see a different, like now see when you had a really good 
financial experience, whether it was a large income tax return, something that made you very happy financially, something that made you ecstatic financially, see that coming into you. Yep. See it come, feel that feeling again and say this, this feeling of new money is my reality. And the same thing goes for past partners. Nancy, what I'm getting is February is going to be a very strong month for you to meet someone. Again, you need to be out and about. You need to be in the thick of it is what I'm hearing. Uh, you are not going to meet somebody online. And I, I just want to say this, if you can meet somebody online, that's great. Don't go to the typical online places. Go someplace where it's a higher end and you definitely have to pay a little bit to be on there. Um, and I don't want to always talk down about online meeting places, but there are a lot of, and I'm going to use this word, so I hope it doesn't get me in trouble. There are, okay, just explain it instead. Thank you. There are a lot of people online that know exactly how to work the online stuff and what they're looking for and what um, how to get certain types of people. So if you're empathic, if you're very loving, if you're kind, that's going to show through in your profile like that. And those types of people who kind of prey on those types of people will see that and snag, snag you quickly and work their whatever you want to call it on you. So stay, if you're online isn't for everyone and Nancy, you're one of those people online is not for in February, get out, get about, uh, be around people. And Nancy, there's a chance a friend of a friend of a friend, meaning you're, you may not directly know this person, but they're like, there's a circle, like someone, you know, knows someone they know it's it's a small world it's a small world so i feel like you are going to have some really good luck in february as long as you're out and about with people and again i see a group setting where maybe different people bring people and that might be it or just being out and about and keeping your peepers out and for all of my girlies and women and even my men listen get your face out of your phone when you're walking around pay attention to your surroundings no matter what for love yes <laughs> you can't meet someone if you're if you're like this you cannot meet someone um, unless they come up and tap you on the shoulder, in which case you might consider that them bothering you. But if you if you want to be looking up and around and, you know, be in that space. Uh, Nancy, I feel like February, a little bit into March and pay attention to March 5th. March 5th is going to be a really good day for you or have something come in and or happen for you. That's excuse me, on a happy note, on a good note. Okay, uh, let's see. We're going to go to, oh, I have the hiccups, oh my goodness. The next question. The next question is um, Leo. Uh, Karen wants to know anything from Leo for me. I miss him so at the holidays. He was my grandpa, but raised me like a like like a dad. Oh, Karen, I'm so sorry. It's so difficult. Um, I'm so sorry, um, Karen. It is so difficult. So, okay, um, Leo, what do you want to say to Karen? Um, the first thing he wants to say is. Uh, <laughs> It's that reggae song, maybe Lenny Kravitz, get up, stand up, stand up for your rights. But he's changing the song, the words, get up, get out, get out and do your life. Um, so that's the first thing. Get up, get out, live your life, go um, get out of the house, go travel, travel, travel is the statement coming through. Travel, 
get up, get out, travel, even if it's to just a neighboring area, travel, get up, get out, get up, get out, um, and, and live your life. Okay. Um, I don't, that's what he is saying to you. And he, he says he also, he loves you. And, uh, there is going to be, um, if you get up and go to new areas, you will get new signs and confirmations from him. Okay. And Karen, I don't know if you already are planning this or if it's possible for this, but I see the potential of a cruise coming in for you. I feel like it's like a deal buster, something that comes in and it's quite a deal. You get quite a deal on this cruise. And I don't know if you like cruises. Some people say I would never do a cruise. Now, if it's not a cruise, if it's not a cruise, my symbol for Florida is cruise ships. So it might be just a trip to a coastal area that you're going to take. If not a cruise, it's just to a coastal area. Okay. I feel like that is coming in for you and it's going to be a tremendous amount of fun. You're going to love it just so much. Um, hey Mo, it's been so it's been such a minute for you, Mo. Um any messages from Grandpa Joe for Mo? Yeah. Um <sighs> live live like uh you I don't want to say it that way. Um, it will, it'll, it, it will make a sense. I don't know why an accent just came in. Um, uh, Mo, did your gram grandpa have a bit of an accent? I really need to know that. Um, live, live like you have nothing to lose. You're putting your boundaries on yourself. You no longer are a child. You don't need to live so restricted. You could be a little freer. Now, this does not mean to do anything sketchy or risky. It means allow yourself to blossom. Allow yourself to go. If you want to take a, a vacation, uh, I don't know why. I, everybody's stuck on vacation mode up there today. Get away, get away, get away. Uh, Mo, you don't have to live like, okay, for example, when I was uh, younger, um, I, it was such a, a weird dynamic. I'm, I'm happy I had this dynamic. I don't, I'm not complaining about it, but I would come home from school and then clean and then uh, prepare dinner and then uh, eat and then uh, do homework. And then, uh, and then my curfew was 8 p.m., <laughs> So there was never any time for me to go out, never any time for me to go out, especially during the week. And um, I'm happy for that now, looking back at all the trouble I could have gotten in, <laughs> because I could have been in a bit of a lot of, I saw where my friends who had a lot of freedom ended up. And, um, but you don't have to live like that anymore, Mo. You can, you like the statement is you can go out after school you can you can explore a little bit i i hope this makes sense to you mo i i don't think i feel like i'm having trouble putting it in words for you but that's 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 what i have for you okay thank you fawn fawn said beautiful message uh beautiful channeling thank you kate um Kate's been getting headaches, waking up with them. Is she clenching her teeth? No, I feel like it's something, it's something, um, something you're ingesting, Kate. Maybe I, I don't, whatever it is, it's either something you're, you're getting too much of something or not enough of something. Okay. So, um, I would say be careful about that. Heather, everyone. Oh, thank you, Heather. Thank you, Heather. Um, uh, next. Uh, 
who passed away three years ago. I don't want to anyone online. You shouldn't. Um, it it will be Nancy. It will be a one on one meeting. I I do feel that for you. And there's a there's a the opportunity in February, but you're going to have to be out and about with friends. I do feel like the person you're going to meet, um, Nancy, may be in a similar situation of yours where maybe um, they have also lost a significant other. So that is something to pay attention to. If they didn't, maybe the widow, widower they're talking about is you, widow. No, widow is woman, widower is man, I think. So I hear widow, widower. That is a weird word to say. Anyway, whatever that means for you, Nancy, is, is what is going to come in. Okay, curious if there's any specific action to turn financial situation around ASA people meet. Okay, um, oh my gosh, I was going to do a, a TikTok on holiday. holiday. I did a TikTok, I think, a couple weeks ago on holiday, on, on income. I'll do, I'll do holiday um Amy, everybody listening, watching, let's do something for money right now. So um, okay, my reality is financial independence and security. I get a no. Let's clear that now. Um doing this is weird. Let's clear that. Um, I accept large amounts of money easily and gratefully. No. Now here's the thing, folks. Uh, my comfort zone, which is so important, and I'm going to explain this to you in a second. My comfort zone is a comfort zone of wealth. I get a no. Here's the thing. Do you ever drive in areas that are very affluent and think, oh my gosh, I would never want to live here because dot, 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 dot. That's your comfort zone. That is definitely your comfort zone. That's your fear kicking in and limiting you. That is with money. That is with uh, job titles. That is with moving up the corporate ladder. That is with your business. That is with everything. If you are in a holistic business and someplace inside of you, you don't believe holistic businesses make money, then you will never make money in your holistic business. If you are in any other business and you feel like there's too much competition, really what you're saying is, I don't have the confidence. So the confidence or the belief, the knowing back to the knowing that this is what's going to bring me my wealth. Now, wealth, there's so much of it in this world. So there's, we a millionaire used to be considered rare. Now there are trillionaires. Just think about that. So those clearings are in effect. Thank you so much, you guys. It's that 60-minute mark for the TV shows. I love you all so much.